six pack. Oh. Spring break, a million babes, and you're chickless? Actually, I'm dating one of the girls up on stage. The girl with the most applause is our new Malibu Beach babe. Yeah, right. So let's hear it for finalist number one. It's just that these things are so rarely a meritocracy. It surprises me they actually chose the best. Mm. Mm. <laughs> this is so incredible. I, I, I've never been on stage in a bikini. I've never won anything in my life. I, I've never met anyone as cool as you. <sighs> That's so cool. No one's ever called me cool before. Except there was this time when I was in third grade, and my mom made these great snacks for the whole class. And this one girl, Melissa Muma, she... Ooh. I love the way you shut me up. <laughs> so when are your friends getting here? Oh, I don't know. I should be here any minute. I told them to meet me over by the lifeguard station. Whoa. Um, you go ahead. I'll catch up with you in a second. All right. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just, um, I maybe had a little too much sun. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna go wash my face. Okay? Alright. I'll catch up with you. Oh, hey, you're back. Thanks. Duncan, do. <laughs> I thought you were kidding. <laughs> She's awesome. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. then why is he here? It's spring break. Apparently, it's taken some of his friends a few extra years to graduate. They have nicknames like Bender and Six Pack. <laughs> we just wouldn't think that people like that would hang out with someone like Duncan. Well, everyone needs a designated driver in their lives. <laughs> There's Duncan. Hey. Wow. You guys are here. I'm glad you made it. <laughs> so? Where's this Natalie you want us to meet? Uh, she uh, went to go freshen up. She should be here in a minute, though. I was so flattered you wanted our opinion. Yeah, well, bringing her home to meet my mom wasn't exactly feasible since my mom lives in North Carolina. Oh, I, I don't mean that you guys are my mom. I mean, you're nothing like my mom. My mom is older, much, much older. She's probably old enough to be your mom. Duncan, you're babbling. Yeah, sorry. It's just, 
Natalie's really special. Sounds like someone's in love. Maybe. Listen, you should take this one step at a time. You've only known the girl six days. That's <laughs> longer than my last three relationships combined. I hope she's okay. She said she wasn't feeling too good. Maybe we should go see if she's okay. Natalie's backpack. I'll check inside. What's it doing out here? I don't know. There's no one inside. Money, keys, cell phone, it's all here. This wasn't a muggy. Oh, God. What happened to her? Natalie? <laughs> Natalie! Well... None of the hospitals have admitted to Natalie Taylor, and, and I don't know where else to look. Duncan, how much do you know about this girl? She's an exchange student at Stanford. She lives on campus. She loves hockey. She hates cheese. Moderate socio-political views. Um, her combined SAT score is 1,400. Her GPA is 3.5. Duncan, we checked with the college. I don't know. Natalie's not a real name. Yeah, it is. No. It's not. It's Marina Renetti. She's Natalie Taylor's roommate. Why would she pretend to be somebody else? Because she's really a princess. Her parents rule a country named San Martin. It's an island off the coast of Europe. As in royalty? As in Princess Diana. Or Princess Grace. Or Princess Magic Hair. It's a doll. I got one for my niece. They're really cute. I wasn't allowed to play with dolls when I was a kid. That's so sad. I used to rip off their heads. Really freaked out the neighbors. It freaks me out. Well, guys. I don't get this. I mean, if she's a princess, why didn't she tell me? She didn't want anyone to know. I've spoken to local authorities. Two other young women who are attending spring break were also reported missing yesterday. The chairman wants this solved. He also wants us to recover the princess before there's an international incident. So I guess we're headed back to the beach? Cassie, you and Shane take surveillance. Dee Dee, Duncan, work the crowd. Hang on, I gotta get some sunscreen lotion. You know, I don't think getting a princess magic hair for your niece is such a good idea. Why not? Well, don't you think the whole princess thing stereotypes women? Well, when I was six, I wanted to be a princess. Really? I wanted to be a veterinarian. I wanted to be an astronaut. Why do you want to be an astronaut? I don't know, that little spinning anti-gravity thing just looked like a blast. You know, astronauts have to go in a bottle. When princesses don't go? Not in a bottle. Guys, hold, hold, hold. hold. Six bag. This is my friend Dee Dee. Hi. Wow, another babe. Dude, what's your secret? It's that big IQ. Dude. Hey. He's a nice guy. Just one wave short of a wipeout. See anything suspicious? Just past the third lifeguard stand, two guys smashing beer cans between their heads. <laughs> so suspicious, not stupid. How can you see that far? Telephoto sunglasses. I had Duncan make a for me. Hey, the beer crush on the left would be kind of cute if he wasn't bleeding. <laughs> you haven't seen her? Sorry, I haven't. Has anyone seen her? Her name's Natalie. Sorry. Who wants to know? Oh, I went to high school with her, and somebody told me she was here. My name's Dee Dee. I just wanted to say hi. We hung out, but we haven't seen her since this morning. Where did you guys hang out? Who are you, the fun police? Let's get some bodies up here. We need more contestants for our Beach Bay Dance Contest. How about you? Oh, no. Don't be shy. What's your name? Dee Dee. Dee Dee. Dee Dee. Dee Dee. Dee Dee. Dee Dee. Dee Dee.
No. Why not? Because dolls like that foster an unattainable image that perpetuates a female toxic environment. It's not that you've given it any thought. Talk about body image. Look at her waistline. Hi, I'm Princess Anorexia. I live in a castle, but I'm kitchen. Hi, I'm Princess Bulimia. I come with a quart of Rocky Road. This is sick. Hey, you break it, you buy it. Good. Just save some little girl a lifetime of low self-esteem. And what's with this whole princess myth anyway? It's like, do they think the only way a woman can live happily ever after is by catching a man? No way. Wait a minute. Aren't we always looking for the perfect man? Yeah, that's different. I don't need a man to be complete, okay? I'm a complete person, whole All right, inside. Put it on pause, Oprah. Check out the guy hiding behind the jet ski. The guy in the khaki jacket. That's the one. He's got a gun. I'll take the front and take the back. ID. Right, well, I think there's a more civilized way to go about this. Perhaps a simple hello. Who are you? Would have sufficed. Driver's license. I'm San Martin. Yes, Peter Williams. I'm in the employ of the Renetti family. I'm trying to locate the Princess Marina Renetti. Is this the international incident we were trying to avoid? According to the chairman, Mr. Williams is Marina's personal bodyguard. Personal bodyguard? How wonderful to be a princess. Oh, here we go again. I really don't see what's wrong with wanting to be a princess. Don't get her started. Could lose your head. Ladies. When Princess Marina came to America to go to college, she refused a security detail. She finally agreed to allow one agent, me, to remain and live in the same dormitory. So how she did she? She and her roommate decided to switch appearances. Clothes, wigs, glasses, the works. In the morning when they left for class, I followed the wrong girl. The chairman was under the impression that you were leaving today by order of your king. Yes, but I couldn't go. I have a lead, you see. Well, it's more of a theory, really. I heard about the two other missing girls, and I put two and two together, and it is my opinion that Jeremy Lind is behind these kidnappings. Jeremy Lind? Isn't that that sleazy guy who produces all those Beach Bay videos? Sleazy doesn't make him a criminal. In fact, in this country, it qualifies you for public office. According to my research, he was arrested seven years ago for running a prostitution ring. Charges were dropped. Who cares? The man's made millions taking videos of girls who flash for the camera because they're too innocent to know better. I think we can agree he's a bad man. Dee Dee, watch your mouth. I need something a little more substantial than bad. When did Lynn set up shop at the beach? About two days ago. But spring break's been going on for over two weeks. The disappearances started only after Lynn showed up. Mm. Let's check him out. Lynn's having a party tonight. I, I got invited because I won the dance contest. Way to go, Deeds. Do you win any prizes? Uh, a year supply of Big Macs, Zit Cream, and No Dose. Eh. So where's this party? It's at Lynn's production studio. It's a fundraiser for the National Film Society. Good. Well, Mr. Williams, thank you for your assistance. I'll have a driver take you out to the airport. Yes, but the princess? Your king has requested ISD handle this one. Please, sir, let me stay. It's not my decision. I understand. Mr. Williams, uh, I wonder if I could ask you a question about Marina. Princess Marina. Right. That's just what I'm getting at. She never told me she was a princess, so I just assumed that she was a commoner like me. Not that she's common in any way, but now that she's royalty and I'm just me, I mean, what are my chances with her? I, I mean, Prince Rainier of Morocco married Grace Kelly and she was a commoner, and Prince Edward married Wallace Simpson and she was not only a commoner, but a divorcee. Yes, and he was forced to abdicate because of it. Right, but I'm not a divorcee. And then there's Queen Nora of Jordan, who I don't know her story, but I could easily look it up. Uh, right, don't waste your time. The royal family generally frowns upon such unions. But yeah, but... Jill! <laughs> I didn't 
didn't recognize you without your microphone. Dee Dee, my little dance contest winner, you made it. Well, Luca turned down an invitation from Jeremy Lin. As long as he's serving wine to Shindan, I'm happy. Is it true he was once arrested for running a prostitution ring? Jeremy's cleaned up his act since then. There's no way I'd work for him if he hadn't gone legit. Hey, you! Did you see him? Yep. Camera's pointing right at him. Monsieur Lind, je m'appelle Vivian Chantel, president of the Société du Film Français. Mademoiselle, it is my pleasure. Enchanté. But, Ma, you are far too beautiful to be behind the camera. You are too kind. You need a drink. Come on. Absolutely. We would uh, like to interview you for a magazine. Magazine? Oui. <laughs> Security. Meet me up at Lynn's office. I hear you are interested in film restoration. Tell me, what is so special about musty old films? Oh, these movies are part of our cultural heritage, but many of them were shot on cellulose nitrate, and as I'm sure you know, nitrate films deteriorate after a few years. Oh, we. Oui. sign of any missing girls. Let's go. Hey, computer. <sighs> Major firewalls. Lynn's definitely got something he doesn't want anybody to see. Can you get in? Just give me a second. <sighs> Ready to download. What'd you do? Nothing. Something set that off. How much longer to download? Two minutes. Excuse me. Uh, but we haven't finished our interview. Uh, that's a security alarm. A false alarm. I'm certain it happens all the time at my chateau. Excuse me. Cassie, keep stalling. Monsieur Lin, have you ever met Jerry Lewis? He's a big star in France. My favorite film was The Nutty Professor. Have you seen it? No. The Erwin Boy? Uh, no. The Patsy, the family jewels, the bellboy, uh, Cinderella. I'm sorry, I really must go. 60 seconds. Lynn's on the loose. I'm heading to the car. Meet me at the back entrance. Come on! Hide? Where? In another dimension? Peter? Peter. Hello again. Aren't you supposed to be on a plane to some island? I can't live without the princess. <sighs> so sweet. <laughs> Forget sweet. Did you set off that alarm? Not precisely. A guard saw me and he set it off. <laughs> that makes a big difference. Yeah. Downloaded. Well, it's only one way out. This is the part about spying I really hate. What part is that? This part. Oh, bloody hell. you nearly blew the mission and got us caught and you made us jump through a glass window which is really my least favorite thing to do my least favorite is body disposal really mine's being chained to a bomb yes well mine's having to face the king he blames me for everything and he's right how can i leave knowing the princess isn't safe when it was my duty to protect her looks like we have something analysis went over the information dd downloaded from lynn's computer He's been receiving millions in investment capital from a man in Saudi Arabia named Hassan Al-Amir. Hmm. Everyone wants to be a producer. Did you find any data linking Lind to the missing girls? Unfortunately, no. Well, if someone hadn't have tripped the alarm, we might have come up with something worthwhile. We only got as far as Lind's office. Cassie and Shane, you head back to Lind's studio. Didi, go back to the beach. Ask as many questions as you can. 
As for you, Mr. Williams, I will have two of my agents escort you personally to the airport and put you on a plane. Sir, please, I beg of you, let me stay. There's nothing more important to me than finding the princess. Don't worry. You'll find her. One more day. Everyone's entitled to a second chance. You forgave us. Ford forgave Nixon. Beauty forgave the beast. I'm sticking with princesses. Ladies, if I'm not mistaken, the three of you told me that Mr. Williams compromised your mission. No, we said completed. He nearly helped us to complete our last mission. Now, you do realize the three of you have done a complete about-face. Well, I mean, it is a woman's prerogative. There are three of us. Which means we could do it two more times. I wouldn't advise it. All right, Mr. Williams. I will allow you to stay and continue your surveillance with Duncan back at the beach. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. You won't regret it. So... How long have you known the princess? Since I was seven. Isn't that a little young to be a bodyguard? No, my father was a part of the king's security detail. I grew up in the palace. Does she have any boyfriends back home? Dozens, I'm afraid. Viscounts, dukes, lords. But she has told her father she will only marry for love. Really? Mm, not for title, nor position. I thought she couldn't do that. Well, it would cause a stir, but she's always been rather pig-headed. Are you allowed to say that? Well, I've known her for 20 years. Believe me, she is pig-headed. And cranky and self-centered and completely irresistible. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. That was disrespectful. Does she know how you feel about her? No. Those of us in the royal service pride ourselves on being invisible. Even if they're in love with the person they serve? I'm just a bodyguard. Hassan, but it's gonna cost you double. Why? Because my studio was broken into Hassan, and I'm the nervous type. That's why. Yeah. I see it. White tank top. Okay, Hassan, but this is the last one. What? Bonjour. <laughs> Miss Chateau, what are you doing here? We didn't finish our interview. Uh, perhaps some other time. Oh, but my deadline is tonight, and I brought my photographer. Happy New Year! <laughs> That's the only English she knows, but she is magnifique with faces. I'm sorry, I'm really very busy right now. Oh, s'il vous plaît, Monsieur Lind, it won't take long. And you know, we want to put you on our cover. <sighs> huh. Five minutes. Où est la salle de bain? Oh, she needs a little photographer's room. <sighs> it's, it's down at the end of the hall. Au bout du couloir. Happy New Year! Did you see that? Wow, what a setup! Hold on to your seat, because one more point for the blue team, and we'll have a Beach Bay volleyball winner. No, but don't go away, because from the looks of things, the green team isn't going to make it easy for them. Privacy, please? Or not. Dee Dee, we need you over here. I'm not gonna phone call. Come on, do fine.
<clears throat> Excuse me. Is that live? Yep. Oh. Huh. I thought Beach Babes went straight to video. I didn't think they broadcast live. I don't work here. I just fix things when they break. Hmm. Huh. What's wrong with the picture? Nothing. It's just a satellite feed. Hmm. Where is it being broadcast to? Gear like this? Could be someplace on the other side of the world. such a hurry to get out of there. Let's go over I've got there. some bad news and I got some worse news. Don't sugarcoat it. The bad news is I scanned all the offices with an infrared, no girls. What's the worst news? <sighs> Remember that financial information Dee Dee lifted off of Lynn's computer? Yeah, what about it? Well, Duncan said that Lynn's getting millions of dollars from some guy who lives in the Middle East. And coincidentally, Lynn's broadcasting live feed from the beach to someone who lives halfway across the world. OK, why would some guy from overseas pay millions of dollars for live shots from the beach when he can rent a Beach Bay video for $3.95. Here's a wild idea. Girls didn't start disappearing until Lynn's camera crew showed up, right? Right. What if Lynn's not selling videos? He's selling the girls. Gets him in front of the camera, broadcasts the feed to the client, and the client picks the one he wants. Lynn grabs them and ships them. Maybe it's not such a wild idea after all. I saw Dee Dee live on one of those TV monitors. She could be the next target. Duncan. Hi, Duncan. You seen Dee Dee? No, you trying to sell? No, she's not answering her cell phone. She was playing volleyball before, but she rotated out. Find her. We think she might be the next on the kidnapper's list. On it. We have to get to Dee Dee. Over there. We got an agent down. You're not going to get away with this. Oh, color me scared. My name's Natalie. You don't have to pretend anymore. I'm a government agent. I'm here to rescue you. Well, at least that wasn't until I got kidnapped. Join the club. You know, Duncan's really worried about you. You know Duncan? Does he know I'm a princess? Is he angry I didn't tell him? <laughs> Duncan doesn't get angry. He's too sweet. I know. He's the best. <laughs> oh, this is so amazing. I mean, I've, I've never met a real princess before. It's a pain. 
Everybody expects me to be perfect. You ever try to be perfect? It's work. Well, I bet you got to grow up in a castle with servants. Drafty. And no privacy. I bet you got to go to a lot of balls. The senior prom. And I had a curfew. Me too. I got grounded for a week. Me too. M my parents are so overprotective. Oh, sounds like our parents are a lot alike. Well, except for yours where crowns. So, do your parents worry about you a lot? They don't know I'm a government agent. That sounds so cool. You think being a princess is hard? Try being an elite international crime fighter. But it must be so exciting traveling all over the world. And... I broke my leg in France. I cracked three ribs in Istanbul, and I nearly got blown apart by a landmine in Reading. I got sick once in Cabo. I think we have a lot in common. <laughs> you know, when we get out of here, we should go to lunch sometime. I'd love that. So, how are we going to get out? <sighs> Working on it. Thank you very much. I just got off the phone from the hospital. Peter's going to pull through. Any word on Dee Dee? We checked with the FCC. The live feed from Lynn's studio is being broadcast to a private satellite dish in Saudi Arabia. It's owned by a man named Hassan Alamir. Word is he's looking to expand his harem. There were no readable prints on the can, so we can't ID the guy that grabbed Dee Dee. Hey. There were traces of nitrate on the soda can. Well, Lynn told me that films made before the 1950s were printed on cellulose nitrate stock. Is this going somewhere? Well, if the guy who grabbed Dee Dee had nitrate on his hands, there's a good chance he was handling old films. And old films are stored in a vault. Duncan, check with the city, see if Lynn pulled a permit to build a vault somewhere. This has gotten out of hand. People breaking into my studio, people getting shot. No, we, we gotta shut down now. Don't be stupid. The girls will be on a plane tomorrow. We'll be $10 million richer. It's not worth the risk. I, I'm into more legitimate things now. No, no, no. Beach Babe is over. No, it's not. I have a five-year contract. And you killed it when you decided to get into the flesh trade with your rich Saudi friend. I didn't see you complain when you took the advance. Well, I'll give it back. Son's not gonna like that. He'll get over it. Maybe. But you won't. Here they come. Cut! Print! Moving on. Shame you went through all that trouble. I hope you didn't break a nail. Joe? You already know this with Jeremy? Not anymore. Dump him over there. All right. That's what he gets for trusting a cheesy spokesmodel. Tie them up. I don't want any surprises right. on the way to the yeah. airport. According to Duncan, Lynn pulled a permit to build a vault somewhere on the property. But we just checked this place twice. Above ground. Most vaults are built underground. Uh, hey, uh, what happened to the regular crew? Uh, Rosita está muy enferma. Y usted tiene un trasero muy grande. Excuse me? I have a big butt? A bilingual guard. Who knew? <laughs> Sayonara. Bet you can't speak Japanese. Okay, so how do we get this thing to work? All right, Duncan said it sends sonar waves underground. If there's anything down there, this monitor will pick it up. All right, just don't ask me to do windows. Okay. Nothing yet. Wait a second. There's something directly below us. Check this out. Uh-huh. Card reader for an electronic lock. It's a door. Could be the way down. But how do we pick an electronic lock? You don't. Tile cleaner with the C4 kicker.
Isn't it supposed to go bang already? Just give it some time. Maybe you should check it. I'm not gonna go check it. It's your stuff. It's not my stuff, it's the government's stuff. Well, maybe it's old. It's not old. Did you check the expiration? There is no expiration date. How long have you had it? I just got it yesterday. Well, it's not working. <sighs> if this thing doesn't explode. You were saying? <sighs> Never mind. Oh, what was that? If you weren't worth so much, you'd be dead right now. on the cutting room floor. <sighs> You're right. San Martin is very beautiful. So did your father ground you for the rest of your life? Almost. I have to check in twice a day, every day. Duncan. I'm really sorry I didn't tell you who I was. It's okay. No, it's not. You're the sweetest person I've ever met, and I don't want this to be over. Me neither. Natalie. <laughs> Marina. You're going to be finished next quarter. And you'll probably go home. But you could come with me. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. This is my world. This is my little kingdom. Be it ever so humble. But I'll never find anyone like you. Yes, you will. He's standing right over there. Peter? He's one of my servants. He risked his life to save you. He took a bullet to save mine. And he cares about you. Very much. Duncan told Marina about Peter, even though he loved her too. Mm. Marina may be a princess, but Duncan's got the heart of a prince. So poetic, so romantic, so bittersweet. Whatever, ask me, it sucks. No, it doesn't. Marina and Peter are gonna live happily ever after. Dee Dee, I hate to break it to you, but not everything in life has a fairy tale ending. I know. That's why I decided to return Princess Magic here. You did! According to Marina, being a princess isn't all it's cracked up to be. So, I got this for my niece instead. <laughs> Ivy League Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like pressuring a kid to overachieve. I was an overachiever, and I turned out okay. Yeah, after you were arrested, convicted, and spent two years in prison. Well, if I hadn't, I wouldn't have met you guys. Oh. Well, maybe all Ivy League Brenda needs is a couple of friends. Con woman Brenda. Juicy Brenda. <laughs> This should come in a set. They already do. <laughs> <laughs> 